That's why it may look like it's in a robotic loop. Dave, oh. Dave is Michael Jackson. Now, Dude. this conspiracy theory might be a bit controversial. It's not a new theory, but it has gone viral again on the application, getting 13 million views and 3 million likes. I've heard of Take this a look. One. Okay. Friend attending the funeral. And Dave Dave, yes, that's his name, Dave Dave. He was David Rothenberg. He was set on fire in 1983. He suffered, as you can see, terrible scars. Mike. Bullshit, nigga. Bullshit, <laughs> bull. All my music is like, <laughs> The terrible events happened on January 27, 1984, at a studio in California. Jackson suffered these burns on his scalp and face, leaving him permanently scarred. At the time, Jackson was just 25 years old and was already a solo star, but returned to his family roots on this occasion. The terrible scars. This one is My creepy. I ain't know about this one, dog. What were you at the time? I was about seven years old at the time. And were you in the hospital? I was not in the hospital at the time. I was, I was in interim back and forth from surgery. And what did he do for you? Well, basically, he befriended me. He, um, he took me into his life, which is very rare for Michael to do. But he opened up his arms to me and accepted me as a very good friend of his. And throughout the years, he... I mean, the biggest star in the world. I got to escape. I got some bullshit going on. Let me see. Oh, I really want to know. Shit, what you trying to know? But no, <laughs> I just... Somebody said the message. This ain't me, my, actually my phone. This, I'm, I'm watching a YouTube video. I don't know, Craig, Kayla, Kyla, whatever. So I'm just like, hey, I got to escape. arms to me and accepted me as a very good friend of his and throughout the years he never let me go i believe that's good this is broad daylight so he got the you grab the kids they look at normal mike comes out he has his disguise on you know so i starts laughing because <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even recognize him you know it wasn't like he had a fake you mustache did, nigga? Damn. or he had fake a wig or nothing he was definitely a master of disguise. He really is. I didn't even know that was him. Damn! Oh, that oh. Like I was going to say, though. This one. <laughs> Did you see that? Nigga! Boy, stop playing with me! Definitely a master of disguise. Surprise, we you know talk. Yo, and I love how the music makes it so extra more believable. But like, dog, turn it. I, like he said, it's not him though. I, sometimes I forget that he's supposed to be in the disguise, you know. And I keep calling him Mike. Right, and this little girl hears it. She's like, and she looks over, and I think she recognized him. Like, I really think she did. Mm. So then, when I realized she was peeping, then I start calling him Dave. <laughs> do you guys find any similarities in his voice and mannerisms? Cause I definitely do in his voice. But I also acknowledge that it could just be a coincidence. And also, Dave, Dave did have his own personal backstory, so. This one's pretty far out there, but I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty convincing if you just take it on face value. Especially when we take into account Michael Jackson's net worth and how much power he had. He could basically get away with anything. There's also apparent footage of him guy, getting dog. out of the Heck coroner's yeah. van, but I don't know how much I believe it. Take a look. Oh, I think I saw this. I think my, my partner showed me this one. Yeah, my partner showed me this one, dog. This shit crazy. 